Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can print FX to a separate audio channel in Logic Pro. So I've got a little guitar part here, it's literally just one chord. Um, without any effects it sounds like this. Then I've got both channels sending to a bus with effects on it. That's a delay and a reverb. With the effects on it sounds like this. As you can see, the effects tail goes on for a lot longer than the original audio file does. So what if I want to have that as a separate audio file on a different channel so that I can make changes to it and have more control over it generally? So the first thing you want to do is control click on the bus where you've got your effects and you'll see the option to create track. You want to click that and then you'll now be able to see your bus channel with the rest of your instruments in this view. Now you may have noticed that unlike the other audio files, there's no record or input enable option. So you can't just press record and have it record the FX, it won't work. But there is a workaround for it. So what you want to do is select the pencil tool and just draw an audio region like that. And then control click that audio region and click bounce in place. Um, it will bounce the effect onto a new channel. So I'm going to name that guitar effects. As you can see, you now have the whole effects audio separately. So if I play this on its own, you can hear it doesn't have that initial hit from the guitars. It's just the effects channel coming in after it. Having your effects printed as a separate audio file opens up a lot of creative possibilities. For example, you could chop it up and move bits around, just use certain sections of it. Um, you could resample it. You could reverse it and use it as a fade in for a different section, for example. There's a lot of creative possibilities that you can do with this and it in general just offers you more control over the audio. If you want more ideas on how you can use printed effects to create unique, interesting sounds within your music, I'm going to make a video on that tomorrow, so drop me a like and a follow, and I'll see you then.